hierarchy of race like that developed by Morton, Knott, and Glidden, and still deployed today by white supremacists, cannot be sustained if not one but two black, great black civilizations arose in Africa at the dawn of history. It is therefore entirely appropriate and even necessary to confront constructions of race for Nubia and Egypt in the recent past and acknowledge both civilizations as African and black. So did you face any of that type of uh, backlash or harsh feedback from your stance on ancient Egypt? So yes, but interestingly, I haven't received any harsh feedback from um, Egyptologists. When I go around and I give talks on this subject, um, the Egyptologists who've been in the audience of my talks are very receptive and they think that this is really important work and that I need to keep forging ahead with it. But I have gotten negative feedback, um, especially over email, from Egyptians. Um, so it's an interesting conundrum where there are some Egyptians who will tell me, I mean, these are people I don't know who are just like finding out how to contact me and send me an email and say, um, what you're doing is wrong. The ancient Egyptian culture was not a black culture. Modern Egyptians are not black people. What you're doing is dangerous. You need to stop saying this, which of course, I'm not going to stop saying this. And I try to explain what my work is about. And I also try to explain, you see, our perspective in America on on what black is, is, is different from a lot of the rest of the world. And so I try to explain our American context of that word. Um, but yeah, it's, I've definitely gotten some harsh feedback. First off, the Egyptians, of course, were African. And we have evidence from Herodotus and other sources that Africans tended to be black, that they were a range of colors that would constitute black today. Um, and they were actually, the Greek words that are used for them is black. Now, don't misunderstand me. I am not saying that the ancient Egyptians were not black as we Americans perceive it. They were. The way we define black with mixed race, one drop rule, the way we define black as a positive thing, the Egyptians were black. So you're suggesting maybe these people migrated north? Yes. Yes, or their culture did. Mm -hmm. And them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, really, really um, uh, east to the Nile Valley. Mm -hmm. East and north. East and north. Yeah. I, I see. So today in Egypt, uh, the archaeologists uh, often refer to, and, I, and I've been there, uh, to connections between ancient Egyptian culture and the Sumerian culture and the Crete culture and the Persian culture. Uh, yet when you visit Egypt, especially uh, around the Aswan in the southern uh, part of the Nile, you see uh, mostly black people. Yes. Yeah. And uh uh, we know from the anthropological evidence that the people uh, just predating the uh, dynastic civilization in the, Na in the Naptopaya region were, were black, uh, black mm -hmm. African people. I, I can sympathize with the impulse to, to, to sort of, to be very strident, to be very argumentative, to be very certain, to act very certain about the blackness of the ancient Egyptians because for the for the longest time, the very longest time, there was this prevailing idea that black is Africa and Africa is less than, right? That no matter what happens, no matter how you cast it, anytime you fall on the wrong side of that dividing line between black and not black, even not between black and white, whatever's coming from that black side is going to be less than. And it's it took people being willing to challenge that orthodoxy and sometimes in a very ill-informed way right sometimes you know it's just to people coming up and going i feel yeah. like this and so i'm going to say it and make it right and it turns out they actually were in some ways mm -hmm. right because now we can look at egypt and say the ancient egyptians are an african civilization these are people that by and large, we probably would have looked at and thought, oh, these are black people. When it comes to the 25th dynasty, a lot of people are going to commonly call them the black pharaohs. You see it online, you know, there's books written titled that, so on and so forth. Do you feel like 
that distinction has to be made. Um, and how I ask that is I've noticed online, a lot of people don't seem to think that for some reason you could be black and be Egyptian. And I've always kind of disagreed with that because I feel like even though the ancients weren't colorblind per se, I feel that you could be black and be Egyptian. Would you say that is correct? Yes, I think I think so. For instance, uh, as I told uh, you, uh, you before, this kind of, for instance, of Nubian warriors uh, that were settled in, in Egypt, um, at some time they were living a perfectly um, Egyptian life and they collaborated with the with the Egyptians and so on. I don't know if you have in mind, for instance, um, it's the representation of uh, uh, people carrying a Colossus uh, statue. And there are uh, rows of, uh, of people, of, uh, of young people, young soldiers, something like that. And you find Nubians, Egyptians, Libyans, and so on. There was this, this kind of idea that the local rulers uh, rule, in fact, over a, say, multicultural society, probably in which the military component was quite important. Military contingents made Nubians of uh, people from Asia, from Libya, uh, and so on. So I think it was perfectly normal that these people, uh, they were black, uh, so they married Egyptians, or inversely, uh, Nubian women, they married uh, Egyptians, and so on. I think there is some evidence, for instance, in the documents of the New Kingdom, of this kind of, uh, I don't know, of, uh, of marriage between people uh, from different uh, geographical or cultural or ethnical roots. Um, I think it was no, no problem at all. As I said, as I said before, they could uh, reach very important positions in the, in the kingdom, and for instance, in the in the late Bronze Age, it was quite normal that uh, very high, uh, Nubians, a very high local position, they, um, they built the um, wonderful and excellent uh, tombs uh, in, Nubia, in Egyptian style. They reached important positions in, in the Egyptian administration, so on. So why not uh, when black people or people from Nubia, they became uh, far out, well, they continue to represent uh, themselves, uh, sometimes with their uh, part, well, with their very distinctive uh, physical characteristics, and so on. It was, I think, uh, no problem at all. I worked in prisons now for 18 years. That was my first um, time I'd been in a prison. And the teacher um, who picked me up at the station, she said, well, you, um, you are looking at this as Africa. And I was like, well, yeah, of course course I am mm -hmm. and she said well you know because she said that's how they you know my students see it and I said well how else would they see it and I remember her looking slightly confused and um, and then the first sort of interaction I had with one of her students was he he came in the room and he said you know Egypt, ancient Egypt is African I went yeah of course and that's I think awesome. he thought I hadn't heard him properly and he said I said it was like African as in black African and I'm like yeah, and what, what's your point? And I think it was only really at that, that after that experience that I thought, am I in some kind of bubble here or something? You know, and, and so I tried to actually look into the, the sort of background, really, the sort of, which we're starting to talk about a little bit more um, in terms of colonial um, approaches, um, but still not, not directly the racism that, that Egyptology is founded upon. and. At that point, um, it was almost like a sort of light bulb moment. I thought, well, why why is this still the case when we, you know, are we still stuck, you know, 100 years sort of previously in this kind of racist ideology? Why is nobody challenging this? Because other disciplines had. So anthropology had looked very hard at itself in terms of looking at its colonial kind of past. Um, it just seemed that Egyptology was kind of almost stuck there and it didn't really want to talk about it. So, so for me, it always was. African. Um, it, it was a bit of a shock to me when I actually started looking a bit deeper into this and then started having conversations with people and, and seeing how they responded to that. I think that the further back in history you go, the blacker the Egyptians are. And by black, I don't merely mean dark skin, but also with other Negro characteristics. You have spent much of your life studying the history of the ancient Egyptians. Who were the ancient Egyptians? How did they look? Voilà, les Égyptiens anciens ressemblaient à cette terre que vous voyez. Voici le premier roi de la terre. Here you have the first king of the earth, the very first. And the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians, 
looked like this man. Euh, cet homme a des traits, euh, si vous voulez, plus, comme nous disons, vous m'aviez dit tout à l'heure de ne pas employer un terme, mais sur le plan scientifique, euh, c'est un terme consacré. En tout cas, il a des traits de, de la race noire plus marqués que celle de presque tous ceux qui sont ici dans cette salle. You can see that he has those traits that are associated with the black features. Those features associated with the black race, which are even more pronounced than many of the people here. It was this man who unified the Nile Valley from upper to lower Egypt, and this was 3,300 years before Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, je passe donc, uh, ce que je vais dire avant de passer au suivant, c'est que vous allez le voir donc, déjà d'après ces traits, et les traits aussi des pharaons qui vont suivre, You can see by his features and those of the pharaohs and kings that, that will follow it. Que les anciens Égyptiens n'étaient pas des blancs qui se seraient qui seraient devenus progressivement noirs et en perdant leurs traits. You can see that they were not a people that, that started as whites and became progressively more black. Mais que au départ c'était des noirs authentiques qui, à la basse époque, vont se métisser avec des blancs. They were instead a black people, an authentic black people, but which never ceased to be blacks. Donc attendez, okay. je dis en un mot. Donc vous voyez que les anciens Égyptiens étaient des noirs comme euh, tous les autres naturels de l'Afrique, c'est tout. You can see that the, the first uh, man, the first the Egyptians were black men, like black men that you see in Africa now. Mm 